Hello, welcome to the next video. We are going to talk about Mac OS and getting around and managing Windows and just being more productive with the space and the tools that are available to you. And so I'm going to show you my workflow. Hopefully there's a lot of tips here and let's dive right into it. All right. So I'm going to break this down into three steps. The first one, um, I'm going to show you how I do this cool thing where we have these window snapping and sort of self-managed windows. Um, so that's kind of step one. Uh, step two is going to be talking about desktops. And so in Mac OS, we have this concept where we have multiple desktops that we can use. And so I'll go into depth about how, like my philosophy behind um, how I go about using these. Um, and then finally, I'm going to talk about an alternative to Command-Alt. So if you're familiar with Command-Alt, it's that, um, that tool that lets you switch between windows. I use something else. Um, and wait till the end of the video where I show you how I get two different apps very, 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 very quickly. Um, so yeah, let's dive into it. So the first tool, as I mentioned, um, that lets me do all this window snapping is called Yabai. And it is an open source project and the main steps are um, you do brew install yabai and it will install the package onto your computer. If you don't have brew already, I highly recommend check out homebrew and get it working on your Mac. And you'll see I already have it installed. And so you do something like this, uh, brew services uh, start yabai and it'll just start up. Um, if you ever want to see if it's running or if it, there's any errors, you can do brew services uh, list. And we can see Yabai is running. Now, there's a counter, uh, not a counter, but more of a companion to this called SKHD. And what SKHD does is it allows us to um, set up keyboard commands. Um, and so I'll be going through that as well. Um, and so I can use hotkeys to manage all of these windows. So they're separate tools, but it works the same way. Brew install SKHD. And then brew services start SKHD. So sort of the same thing. Um, and, and so both of those things have to be running. Um, it's pretty easy um, to get set up, especially if you're familiar with the terminal. And if not, it's, it's not too, too much of an ask. Um, and so Yabai and SKHD are both driven by dot files. Um, and so uh, we're just going to go ahead and start up Tmux. So let's do that. And there's a file called Yabai RC. And then there's an SKHD RC file. All right. And, um, and so the first one is just a set of rules. Um, and so they have example files in the repo and you can just put it into your system. And so it has to load. Um, this SA is just a special thing that lets me do some um, specific commands with desktops. Um, and then all these settings are just the way that I like it. Um, there are some cool features like window borders and I just turn that feature off. Um, there's also a way to like have the windows opacity change depending on what you have focused. And that one's also turned off. I've used quite a few of these features over the years, but um, this all just seems to work for me. Um, and then the layout, I leave default, and then there's some simple padding rules. So I think 15 looks good on my MacBook Pro and my external monitor. Um, and then another good thing to note is you may not always want Yabai yeah, to do things. So like settings, um, this window can't be bigger or smaller, right? It's a fixed, it's a fixed window. And so you can set these rules um, with just a little regular expression and you can call manage off and what that will do is the apps that I've specified they'll just act as a floating window all right and so that's just the configuration I'll link to it um, at the bottom of the video and now the next thing and the fun part is the keyboard shortcuts and so basically all of my window related managing uh, keyboard shortcuts are tied to the option key or the alt key Right, and so you'll see it here at the bottom, this little guy. Um, and so this drives my window activity. And so if I were to um, focus, uh, you know, south, uh, northeast, southwest, uh, it's just HJKL. 
Uh, so it's just Vim mappings. So if I want to go left and right, it's H and L to go back and forth. And you'll see sort of my cursor focusing, which tells me where I'm at. Um, I could also open something up like Finder, right? And I can move these around. And so that's the first one. Goes a long way for me. The next one is swapping. So if I hold Shift and Alt, I can uh, swap them. So if I literally focus on Finder and I hit Shift, Alt, H, then it swaps it. Uh, and it goes the opposite direction as well. Um, so nice and easy, simple. Um, and then I can move. Now moving is a little bit different. It's harder to explain. Uh, so let's just create another empty window. So I can swap them and you'll see that this one fills in half uh, and then this one fills in this bottom quarter, right? And I can switch them back. Now, if I wanna move and I do uh, shift, uh, not shift alt, uh, if I do shift, Alt, Control, so now I gotta use more fingers together and I hit it, um, you'll see that it acts differently. It actually shifts this one over and moves it to this bottom corner. And I don't tend to do this all of the time, but if I do want multiple screens up at the same time, it's, it's useful. And so again, like we can move this one over and it, it moves it just acts differently basically but uh, all you need to know is i don't tend to use this one all the time but it is uh, useful sometimes uh, and then we have um, r which rotates so if i want to kind of change them around uh, i just hit alt r uh, if i want to focus in on one let's say this finder window i want it to be full screen i just do alt f and it's full screen And then finally, uh, toggle padding. I, this one's kind of cool. You can do it sometimes. Um, if I do G, Alt G, uh, it kind of gets rid of all of the spacing. Um, I don't use this one much, but it's kind of cool when I want it. Um, and then if I, I could do full screen, but if I want to actually detach this from the window manager, it's just Alt T. So Alt T will take this out, um, which is, I actually, actually do use this one quite a bit. Um, And then let's talk more about um, Alt-E. So Alt-E is a little bit different. Um, I can basically change the way in which things are being split. So if this is like left and right, and I hit Alt-E, it'll do top and bottom. Um, this becomes more helpful for me when there's one item. So let's, uh, let's just have like these two items. So I can hit Alt-E to switch them. All right, so that one's pretty useful. And then if I were to ever resize these, which I can just manually do, um, doesn't happen too much, but every now and then it does. So if I hit Alt Shift Zero, uh, I reset everything. Um, so that works well for me. Um, and then finally, uh, we're gonna go into desktop next. So I'm gonna skip this part and then we're gonna talk about it. Um, so I can also uh, focus recent um, so we'll talk more about desktops, but basically I can switch back to my recent desktop by hitting Alt-0, uh, which I think is really useful. And then the rest of these, uh, like Alt-Shift-W, uh, W and D, so like D uh, kind of resizes the windows. I don't tend to do this too much. I tend to just let the keyboard, uh, not the keyboard, I let Yabai-E do its thing. Um, but you'll notice that I tend to just use it to like, if I close this window, it just resizes. And if I need a new window, um, it just it just exists. And then when I close it, it just disappears. And that's sort of the magic that I use. Um, now you may be wondering, um, what about animations? And so before we dive into desktops, let's just talk about this for a second. Um, I use something, um, an accessibility feature. So it's under accessibility, display, um, I have reduced motion turned on and reduced motion will make it so that when I see uh, different Mac OS sort of transitions, they're instantaneous. And this goes a really long way for me. I highly recommend this. I'll, I'll turn it off and show you. See how it like animates the windows. And then if I turn this on, uh, it's just instantaneous. It just happens immediately. Um, and that goes a really, really long way for me, especially when I use desktops. So let's talk about desktops. 
So you can have quite a bit of desktop setup. Um, and there's a mission control button. I believe it's F3. So if you hit F3 on your on your you know Mac keyboard, um, this is going to pop up. I have it bound to something else, and I'll talk about it later. Um, but I don't tend to always go to this screen. I just use the desktops. And so what it means is you you're given numbered, basically different wallpapers, right? They're like, you can think of them like wallpapers. You have different screens that you can use. And so since I have this window manager, right? I don't want everything to live here. Um, I don't want everything to all be in one space. Um, and like, you know, I have Finder and then I have, you know, I may have multiple things running at the same time. We'll even bring my notes app over here, right? And so there's just too much here. Um, it'd be too much to ask, uh, let's move this over too. It'd be too much to sort of like focus in on this one and then switch to that one, right? if I can put them on different screens and then be able to switch between them quickly and easily, then I'm getting the most screen real estate. And so that's how I do things. I tend to think of it like priority. So I prioritize my applications. And what I mean by that is number one will be the primary application, which is almost always my text editor. So my terminal is gonna be one. Um, and then my browser is going to be two because I'm a web developer and I'm always looking at websites as I work. Um, and then three might be like Discord, right? So we use Discord for work. So I'm going to have my messaging app on three. Um, and then four uh, might be my note taking app. And then five might be Finder. And then six might be my music player, right? So music player is there. It's over on the side when I want it, but it's not any of the first few desktops. And the, the biggest way that this works for me is I go, if we go under keyboard, this is all built in um, now, this isn't anything special. Um, I go under shortcuts, keyboard shortcuts, mission control, and I can set switch to desktop. And I also drive all of this with the alt key. So alt one through um, nine, right, let's turn these on, will let me switch between the first to nine. And I have found five or six is enough for me. And usually it's only three, even two or three uh, through the workday. And so I'm coding, I know I'm on one because it's my primary action and then I hit alt two and I have my browser and I'm doing my work and I'm doing my thing and then I switch back. And so it just becomes muscle memory to switch between the two. Um, and if my workday changes, like I'm in a Zoom meeting or something, then I'll probably move the Zoom meeting to one and I'll put my note taking app on two, right? So I hope that makes sense to everybody. I hope, I hope you, you're starting to see how this could be useful. So Alt-1 is my primary workspace and Alt-2 is my secondary workspace. And then it just sort of goes from there. And what's even better is I have Yabaiu set up. So if I hit Alt Shift the number, it'll move the focused window to that screen. And so that just goes a really long way for me. So I'm not having to manually. You can also open up Mission Control like this and you can drag the windows you want into, you know, wherever they need to be. Um, but I have it set up so I can do Alt Shift and then the number. Um, so that goes a long way for me. And this is mostly what I'm doing day to day in Mac OS. I am switching between these things very quickly and easily. Now I'm not perfect. I don't always have the right windows in the right place all the time. And sometimes, like I mentioned, my tasks change. I have different sort of work focus or maybe it's after work and I'm doing something sort of non regular. Um, and so the way that I get around the most easily and the tool that I like the most about Mac OS, and one reason that I haven't left Mac OS is because of this fancy little tool called Space Launcher. And so Space Launcher lets me switch to specific applications using the spacebar. And so let me open up the window really quick um, and show you. So this is the, the options, um, and I have things bound to spacebar and then a letter. And so spacebar A, is Alacrity, which is the terminal. Um, space bracket is mission control, which you've seen me do a lot already in this video. Um, it's just good because the angle bracket, I have a moon lander keyboard, and so the angle bracket is 
right above my thumb. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain, but uh, I'll link to my uh, Moonlander setup if you want to see it. And I, maybe I'll do a whole video on that. Um, space sim for messages. So I'm not going to pull up messages, but I go to messages a lot. And that's usually like on the fourth or fifth item. And so just space bar M. Um, W's for web. So that's Safari right now. Um, D for Discord. Uh, and so you can see I really only use a handful of them, but they're so useful. And so like I just hold spacebar W and I'm in the browser spacebar A and um, it's more targeted. So even if my browser isn't on desktop, desktop 2, I can still get to it every single time because it, I've had, I have this muscle memory built in. Um, and so, you know, and I'm, someone sends me a text message, then I just hit space M and psh, it switches right to it. And then I can hit space A and go right back to it. And the way this works, and you may be wondering, is um, there's a delay um, space launcher. So there's a slight delay. I have it set to 0.15 now. That's the number that, that works well for me. And uh, you hold the space bar and then you, if you hold it long enough, you'll actually see the windows pop up. So you hold it and then you hit the letter you want and then you let go of both. So it's kind of like a keyboard shortcut, um, but it's holding uh, the space bar to get to the next thing. Um, and it just, it works really well for me. Um, I find it to be, uh, man, just the most useful way to get around. And so what that ends up looking like is, and I have another video where I, I have my Alacrity keyboard shortcuts bound to Mac OS keyboard shortcuts. And so I can do Command T, and then I can switch to the browser and I can do Command T. Um, and so, and I can switch between them using um, Command Shift bracket. Same here, Command Shift bracket. And so everything's very Mac OS y and everything's really specific. Um, and so, I hope this helps. So remember, Yabai gives me all of these cool little window, uh, window snapping tools, and everything that I do is bound to um, everything that I use is bound to the Alt key. And so I use the Alt key to get around and to manage windows. Uh, and then I use desktops. And so the first desktop is my primary space, and the second desktop is my secondary space. And I can switch between them with the Alt key. And then finally. To be even more accurate, um, I use the Space Launcher tool to just go directly to uh, the tool that I want to have opened. Um, and so a combination of all these things makes me not have to ever use the mouse. It makes it so that all of my desktop space is being used as much as possible, as effectively as possible. Um, and then finally, I have those sort of keyboard shortcuts so that I'm as efficient as possible. Um, and I love Vim, I love Tmux, these are great tools, but in combination with all of the things I've shared today, um, I am so much faster at using the computer. And it's usually where I lose people. If people are pair programming or if someone is watching me do something in person, um, I tend to lose people just because these things make it so, so quick. And the reduced motion makes it almost instantaneous. Uh, so I hope you like these things. Um, Space Launcher is paid. I do recommend the license fee. It's not very much money. Um, but everything else that I've listed today is free, aside from buying a Mac, which I know can be a cost. But um, it's my favorite operating system. Um, I am the most effective uh, using it. And um, I hope you really enjoyed this video. Uh, I look forward to the next one.